Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you've all had a great start to your week. We all know how Mondays can be, so I'm hoping it started off in the best way possible for you. However, in this episode today, I will be talking about a story that took place around two, three months ago now, but I've seen no mainstream media coverage of it. <laughs> and honestly, that part isn't surprising, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. But it involves high school students from New York who protested a school's woke bathroom policy. For example, if a boy identifies as a girl, he's allowed to go into the girl's bathroom. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen students do this. I think last year I covered two, three stories where students said, hey, look, enough is enough. We want to use our private spaces without someone who identifies as the opposite gender coming in, which should be normal. We shouldn't have boys going into girls' bathrooms. Then again, you know, normality is a... Uh, a forgotten thing, right? I almost forgot the word itself. <laughs> you know, we don't see it any longer. Now, before I get into it and discuss it any further with you guys, if you could make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this article. On March 18th, it was reported by Spectrum Local News, dual protests over transgender bathroom use take place at John Jay High School. Students at the John Jay High School walked out of school early Monday afternoon to protest transgender students using bathrooms of the gender they identify with rather than what they were assigned at birth. A bunch of people from our school, John Jay, feel uncomfortable, said Sean and Neelan, a senior at John Jay High School, we want to change that and give them their own spaces to make us more comfortable and them more comfortable. Well, unfortunately, it's always the same in these situations, whether it's sports, locker rooms, changing rooms, bathrooms, whatever. If girls feel uncomfortable with boys going in there, that doesn't really matter to a lot of people, you know, these woke activists, because enforcing inclusion is what is important to them, regardless of the consequences that could come with allowing boys into girls' bathrooms. <laughs> they don't care, and it's very strange because... In a time where we talk about girls and women's safety a lot, as we should, it's very important. But some of these people who talk about it all the time, these woke leftist liberals, are okay with boys going into women's, girls' safe spaces. So it's almost like they don't actually care about their safety as much as they say they do. Because if they did, they wouldn't allow boys, men to go in there where there is a clear safety issue. And then the girls or women who speak up about this and say, hey, look, we're not comfortable with this. We shouldn't be allowing boys in here. They're the ones that then get condemned by the very same people who talk about women's safety on the work leftist liberal side of things. It doesn't make any sense. It's backwards. The planned event led to a dueling protest made up of adults and students in support of transgender students using the bathroom of the gender they identify and feel comfortable with. Uh, I'm standing here brave. The protest was organized by Defense of Democracy, a non-profit organization that educates the public about inclusivity and works to ensure schools are a safe space for all. Does that mean you prioritize how girls might feel in their safe spaces, perhaps? Or is it just about inclusion? Yeah. I do find it interesting that a non-profit organization had to organize a counter-protest. That might indicate how much they don't want people speaking up about this issue. Among those with them was Corey Pittor, a John Jay High School senior who now identifies as a transgender man. I feel as though that we shouldn't be silenced no matter what Pittor said. We are human just like everyone else. I myself have been struggling with this for so long and I just feel like we shouldn't be silenced because we're human ourselves. Well, let's be honest here, within society, who gets silenced more? The people on the woke side of things or the men and women who speak up about this issue yeah the answer is obvious and i'll be real it doesn't really matter how this person might feel you know obviously they are a uh, woman identifying as a man now i think uh, it doesn't really matter because you should not be going in the opposite gendered bathroom I mean, it's plain and simple it goes against truth reality common sense then again, common sense is no longer common. The protesters stayed civil as they chanted across a parking lot down the road from the school. Whopping as Central School District Superintendent Dwight Bong said they were made aware of a potential walkout over the weekend, as indicated in a since-removed petition and had police present in case things escalated. The petition, which was started by Neelan, alleged incidents have occurred in the restrooms targeting a specific trans student. Bong said he is unaware of this taking place. Of course, we are going to continue to provide a safe environment for all of our students and all means all, each and every one of them, Bonk said. Bonk says students who left school early will be having code of conduct conversations. So we had a petition here that was created by one of the students that again allege incidents already took place involving a, a trans student, which 
is a great sign going forward, isn't it? Now, the state is also to blame here because, as you can see, under state and federal laws, school districts must provide trans students with access to restrooms of the sex they identify with, which might not be what they were assigned at birth. Yeah, so a lot of issues here. You also have the state who think, you know, people can go into whatever bathroom they please just because they say one day, yep, you know what, I'm going to identify as the opposite gender. It needs to be sorted out. It really does. And I just hope the code of conduct conversations <laughs> that took place were applied equally because as we see in a lot of cases, you know, people are treated differently depending on what they're protesting for. But here is video footage from Spectrum News who covered the whole situation. Take a watch. I'm Brooke Riley with your Spectrum News in 90. Dueling protests over whether or not transgender John Jay High School students should be allowed to use the bathrooms of the gender they identify with rather than the gender they were assigned at birth. One group, spurred by a petition that has since been taken down, says there have been incidents targeting a specific transgender student. The group's organizer argues it would be safer if transgender students use the restroom of their gender assigned at birth or an altogether separate bathroom. Give them their own spaces to make us more comfortable and them more comfortable. That group staged a walkout in protest. It was met with a counter protest that included both inclusivity advocates and students. I myself have been struggling with this for so so long and I just feel like we shouldn't be silenced because we're human ourselves. Under state and federal laws, school districts must provide transgender students with access to restrooms of the sex that they identify with. We want to support all of their rights, um, but we're also going to be following the proper protocol that we are responsible for following. Dr. Bonk, who says he hasn't been made aware of any alleged incidents regarding transgender students in bathrooms, also says there are three options for student restrooms, male, female, and a single stall gender neutral bathroom. Man, what a time we're living in, right? You know, students just want to feel comfortable in their own private spaces, bathrooms, without somebody of the opposite gender coming in. That's the level we're at. You can't place people's feelings and how they identify above facts, but that's what we do in today's world, right? That's what we have to do. And then that negatively impacts the large majority just so the minority can be catered to. I think a lot of parents would be quite concerned with their daughters sharing a bathroom with a male. But with these protests that we're seeing taking place, you know, not only with this one, but a couple of other ones we've seen, it does also show that the younger generation perhaps are waking up to what's going on. They don't want to be taking part in all of these work agendas. And, you know, maybe the future looks brighter than everybody thinks. And I applaud these students for standing up against this issue. We shouldn't be having people just deciding to go into a bathroom just because they feel like it and then you can't disagree with that you can't say wait hold on you shouldn't be doing that because you have you know state laws and then the schools also thinking wait hold on a second if this person says they are the opposite gender you must conform to that you must accept it they want people to accept delusion and ignore their own eyes and their own ears as we always say but leave your thoughts down below regardless ladies and gentlemen what are your thoughts on what took place I'd like to know if you have enjoyed make sure to leave a like rating if you're new hit that subscribe button Turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Comment on this video, share this video, follow my socials down below in the description. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day. I think it's sunny for a change in the UK. We haven't had sun since November, so I'm going to go enjoy it after this. Have a great day again, and I'm out. Peace.